The workload in this factory manufacturing construction chemicals has doubled in the last few weeks. The blockade imposed by Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, Bahrain and Egypt has sped things up instead of slowing them down. There is an over-proportional growth in the orders we are getting every day. Uh, but at the same time, we are facing and we are struggling with some availability of raw materials. Uh, since we are importing uh, the raw materials from Europe, from China, from USA, we have a challenge. Uh, because before these raw materials were coming through Jabal Ali port in UAE. Imports fell almost 40% in June as the impact on the economy from the siege began to show. But Qatari officials say the import cuts won't affect government projects. When it comes to uh, Qatar 2022 projects, we don't foresee any issues, even if this blockade continues for, as I, c I keep saying, 20 years. So that impact that you've seen, yes, could, could have been so much stronger on our projects. But currently, we don't foresee that because a plan was already put into place uh, since uh, 2014. Ajgal have signed contracts worth more than 3.5 billion US dollars. 1.7 billion out of that was signed after the blockade. The construction industry has been booming in preparation for the Football World Cup in 2022. Large infrastructure projects are also being built to meet the government's development plan called the Qatar National Vision 2030. The sanctions imposed by blockading countries have created problems for businesses which rely on imports. But it's also been a blessing in disguise for local manufacturers who are now benefiting from whatever is made in Qatar. But in order to fulfill that supply and demand cycle, businesses believe the government needs to improve communications. It's been always a challenge for entrepreneurs and local manufacturers to, to get access to knowledge. And I think as Qatar uh, Development Bank, we implemented several initiatives to raise the awareness of what is available in Qatar. Qatar has one of the world's largest sovereign wealth funds, but its reserves have taken a hit since the blockade was imposed. Leaders are saying they'd rather absorb the financial losses than compromise on sovereignty, as the cost of the Gulf crisis continues to mount for all sides. Osama bin Javed, Al Jazeera, Doha.